Well, with the holiday season upon us, it is time for another Small Business Saturday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott is off tonight. And while many folks may have already started buying Christmas gifts online, others still like the opportunity to visit and shop at a locally owned business. Tonight, Two On Your Side's Ron Plants gives us a preview of several locations. Ron, where merchants are definitely going to be open for business tomorrow, right? That's right, Mary Alice. After the pandemic issues really affected the past few years, Small Business Saturday, which, by the way, actually started during another bleak time, the recession in 2010, is now really back for its 12th official year. And here in Western New York, the doors are open, the shelves are stocked for tomorrow, and the season. Let's start in Buffalo. The Christmas holiday market once again open on Ohio Street in the city with various artisans amongst the 50 vendors. A similar setup on Lake Street in Hamburg to recreate those famous European Christmas marketplaces. We are probably quadrupled the size of what we were last year. Our footprint is bigger. We have a lot of different amenities that we didn't have last year. So we're encouraging people to come spend the day with us. Then in Buffalo's Upper Black Rock neighborhood on Niagara Street, a shop and stroll of to check out 12 shops, some newly opened. There's a brand new business called the Seltzery, Twin Petals Seltzery Company in the old Resurgence building. And they're having a two for one special and this is their grand opening weekend. Um, so there's any number of um, specials going on and we hope folks will check out our neighborhood because it's, it's really a growing and very cool kind of environment. The wonderful entrepreneurs that are really uh, offering unique products and um, really building a thriving community for us. You might also want to swing over to Williamsville where shops like Amy's Fine Jewelry have that seasonal sparkle and individual flair with a neighborly approach. It's not like in a chain store where you have different salespeople over the years. So it's always been me. I'm here owning it, operating it. I am during Christmas time. I'm here every day open to close. I love seeing the people that come once a year for Christmas. And so we're able to know what the customers want to by getting to know their husbands or their wives. Some wives like look, picking out their pieces. Some husbands like coming in and surprising them. Finally, in that Hallmark Christmas community of East Aurora, a different vibe to the beat of a different little drummer boy at a new Revolver record store. We specialize in uh, quality vintage and new vinyl pressings, and we have the widest selection of anywhere in town. Um, and yeah, we're just happy to be here in East Aurora. I think, I think this area is really cool. Cool. Overall on Saturday, 32 million small independent businesses taking part across the country, hoping collectively for billions of dollars in crucial revenue for them. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.